Hello and welcome to Black and White. I am Misha Shah and you're watching our exclusive Positives in Pandemic. COVID-19 has completely cut down human activity around the world. However, nature continues to recover and bloom in the pandemic. Lack of human interference for once has made wildlife feel free. Footages of several animals and bird sightings have been going viral on the internet in the past few weeks. This could be nature's comeback. We have quite a few experts joining us in today's special. First up, we have wildlife biologist Ms. Soumya Kothai. Soumya, welcome to our specials of Positives in Pandemic. Can you tell us about the extent of the effect of this pandemic on nature and wildlife? Yes, Nisha. Nature is flourishing in its own way and it's beautiful to witness it in these difficult times. The effects are evident not only in our city but all over the country. So far, there have been multiple sightings. A leopard was found close to an Air Force base near Patna in Bihar. Three Samba deer were spotted walking on the streets of Uttarakhand. A bison was found in the marketplace in Karnataka. A critically endangered Malabar civet was seen for the first time since the 1990s. I myself have noticed the more number of parrots on the trees around in my society. That's beautiful. I will get back to you on this, Ms. Somya. Joining us next is environmental activist Ms. Jia, who will elaborate the effects in and around Mumbai. Welcome to the show, Ms. Jia. Thank you, Misha. Ms. Jia, Mumbai is surely one of the busiest cities. What environmental effects has the lockdown brought to the city? Like Ms. Somya said, nature is reclaiming to its natural habitat. Even for a crowded city like Mumbai, over 10,000 flamingos gathered at a creek near Palm Beach Road in Navi, Mumbai. It was a sort of visual treat for the residents of Nairul. Peacocks were spotted on South Mumbai streets. Sea life is flourishing without any human interference. Right. Ms. Jia, thank you for sharing this information with our viewers. Joining us next is Ms. Kashti, who is an expert on environmental science, and Mr. Naman, who links us to the updates from Pollution Control Board. Thank you, Ms. Kashti and Mr. Naman, for joining us today. My first question is for you, Ms. Kashti. Could you tell us more about environmental changes? Yes, Misha. Thank you very much for having me on this exclusive. Environmental effects of this pandemic are astounding so far. Over the years, pollution has deteriorated the natural beauty and quality of rivers Ganga and Yamuna. But since the time this lockdown has started, Ganga Pollution Control Board has affirmed that water quality has improved. There is a reduction in feces coliform levels. The water is now free of foam and other industrial waste. Well, that's interesting. Mr. Naman, what would you like to comment? Absolutely right, Ms. Kashmir. We have reported similar effects in the air quality. The effect is indeed dramatic. Delhi's pollution dropped to its lowest level in three decades. The skies appear clean and piercing blue. Not just Delhi. Tests have shown improved air qualities in 85 cities, including Mumbai. Levels of major air pollutants like nitrogen dioxide have dropped in all major cities. We also have a clearer night sky with less pollution. The roads and surroundings are much cleaner with lesser people littering around. Right. So let me ask all of you, what have these effects brought our attention to? And what could be the way forward as far as environment and nature conservation is concerned? With lesser and lesser humans around, wildlife is returning to their natural habitat. It's us who have been taking their natural home away from them. Sightings of endangered animals clearly mean that they exist in nature but are unable to live freely. This should lead to an increased awareness among people about the natural beauty that lives around us. Well, I agree. Clearly, it is a powerful message to humankind that this planet belongs to all living beings. Right. Mr. Naman and Ms. Kashti, could you highlight the way forward in terms of environmental pollution? The current situation could serve as a wake-up call for the country to address the problem. Lockdown is definitely not a way to restore, it, restore the environment, but it does indicate that the pollution is man-made and it's in our control to restore it. Yes, it does strongly tell us that we can control it and may even 
put an end to this crisis. A few things to look at could be the need to move faster towards renewable energy and seek other sustainable options. That's very insightful. Thank you so much for joining us in today's special. That's all for today's exclusive on Positives in Pandemic. I am Misha Shah and you're watching our exclusive Black and White.